Hello everyone, welcome back, Detroit Become Human. Last time we played as Connor and we learned interesting details about Hank. Specifically, we learned that he lost his son. I wonder if uh, we're gonna talk to him about it at some point. After that, we went to Eden Club and we managed to find the Deviant, but I chose to spare her and we did let her go. And I'm uh, happy with that decision, I don't regret it at all. But that means that Amanda will be pissed with us. So next uh, encounter with Amanda will be interesting for sure. And also we played as Marcus, managed to get some spare parts for the androids of Jericho. And that aside, we did not play as Kara and Alice. So I'm looking forward to see today uh, what's going on with Kara and Alice. Let's continue. Kara, Alice and Luther that joined the party. Neutral. Got some new clothes. Autonomous. It's very cold. Hmm. Destination, maybe? These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured them. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? Possible. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Hmm. Alice, you okay? Where'd you get a car? Zlatko had a car. Ah, of course. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Cold. I've never seen snow before. It's oh, great. it's the first time? It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Oh, shoot. This is no good. This doesn't look good. <laughs> cool. How are you doing, Alice? Stay inside, Alice. Inspect car engine. All right. On it. Look at us. We got a new outfit. Overheating? What are we going to do? We need water, maybe? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Then know where we can stay around here, Carol. So what do we do? Okay, I'm playing. I thought there uh, was still a cutscene going on. Find shelter. Okay, so we're back at this thing again. Uh, so Alice would stay inside? Okay, I hope it's okay to just leave her inside. Actually, it's safer because it's freezing, but... If we'll go too far... But I don't think there's anyone around here. Yeah. Okay, let's start exploring. Man, I really love the music in this game. Great soundtrack. Pirate's Cove. I don't know. Over there. It's very cool and also kind of scary. Give you horror vibes. Abandoned amusement park. We need to find shelter. In the we middle of the night. The Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yeah. 
Let's see what we got. Do you see any potential place? Is a shelter, maybe? I don't know what to make out of this. Check abandoned buildings. Okay, uh, let's see what we can find. It's really cool. What a fun setup to explore. No. Damaged structure. No place we could spend the night. Not safe. I don't know. Too windy for Alice. Yeah. It's wide open. It's an android. Hello. You gonna be friendly? Out of batteries. <laughs> or should I say out of blue blood? That was kind of scary. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, there's another area in front of us. Dude, look at that skull. At a far back, oh my god. Maybe this is where we're going? Too small. We cannot cross. Looks like a huge area for us to take shelter in, but cannot get there. Okay, so we keep exploring this over here. Apart. Yeah, it definitely is. But we're not giving up, so bear with me, Luther. How about this place? Alright, bingo! Let's find a way in. Ripping off! Heck yeah! You're a great help! <laughs> awesome job! Here we go! Starting to like him! Detroit today, USS. No, oh. what just happened? USS Iowa missing American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea, Canada. Where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Oh, I saw that in another magazine regarding Canada. Okay. Gossips Weekly. Is President Warren too close to stab her life? All Android Ben tips for music prize. Ben scream, traditionalist weep, cybersecurity expert warns, your Android could be hacked.
Okay, there's a lot to see. What is the objective? Check Luther's bag. We'll get to that. Let's check how Alice is doing. Can I talk to her? Let's uh, check everything around here. Super dark. Oh, my bad. Oh, come on. <laughs> there you go. Pirate's Cove. Looks like a fun place if it was not uh, destroyed like that. <laughs> found a pillow. Let's uh, give Alice the pillow. I can't. So, okay. I'll carry it for a while. Oh, I cannot explore while carrying it. So let's. Uh, where should I put this? I see. Near the fireplace. Set up bed. Nice. She wants a family. Got a gun? Oh! I think it's a uh, Luther's gun. Yeah, okay. Bag checked. Okay, so one of the objectives was to check his bag. Now we did it. I hope we won't have to use it, but the fact that we have a gun, it's important. It's all about self-defense. RA9, oh, Deviants were here. Before us, I mean. What else we got? Looks really abandoned, so... It's uh, safer this way, I guess. Let's talk to Alice. She wants to be a normal girl. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Uh. I'll be optimistic. I don't know. I know it's... I know it sounds super naive, but I don't know. It's not totally impossible. It's like very long shot, but... What a sweet kid. I'm a tear up. <laughs> She's a good girl. Hey, Alice. Their family, kiss. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should That's useful. For you. Hmm. Princess? I don't know. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. Ah, she doesn't want cliches. This is a story about a little girl. Fear? Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but...
Shadow? The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. It's getting really dark. She met a robot. Hmm. It was lost. It was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. Live in peace. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... Together. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Guardian. Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? That is the question. You gonna think I'm super naive and all that? I know it's kind of silly in a way, but it's a you know good night story. Let's give a happy ending here. Why not? Reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. Her <laughs> life isn't like that. She's too smart. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Out of all the androids, the story of Alice and Kara gets me the most emotional for sure. Good night, Alice. Oof. Sleep tight. Mm. Feels. Got some feels here. I won't lie. Good night, Alice. Okay, I think I've checked everything. Let's talk to Luther. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Yeah. Hmm. Plans. You know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. So yeah, they're going to Canada. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Let's talk about RA-9. Have you ever heard of RA-9? RA-9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. So basically, Karen, Marcus is RA9. Have you ever noticed anything about Alice? What do you mean? No. What do you mean? Kara! Oh my god. That's an army of androids. Where did they come from? Protect! Question Where first. What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. I'm scared. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. 
We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Tara. Okay, only if you're coming with. I don't think you have any choice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can we trust them? I think we can trust them, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> they did not have to break in like that. That was aggressive, so... That's why I'm Be worried. Guest. Does it work? I don't think it works. Don't, don't have power here. Maybe I was wrong. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. This is heartwarming. Oh man. I know what type of game I'm playing. It won't be this happy for long. Let's enjoy it while it lasts. Waving. It's the first time I've seen her smile. Yeah. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a cry in a minute. I don't know if they keep going like that. I mean, it's breaking my heart to think everything that Alice has been through so far in this game. Her father, which was never her father. And then on the run, you know? Well, that's it. Just a lovely short chapter to make us smile. I appreciate it. We need that every now and then. This is a very heavy game and heartbreaking sometimes. So, oh yeah. 89% completed. Did miss a couple of things. Look at Alice, talk to Luther, and I missed something over there. All right. A uh, car breakdown inside uh, the Pirate's Cove. Funfair, check buildings, frozen android, look at map and something that I missed. And inside the tavern, checked most of it. Make bed. Open bag, see gun. Car notices gun. Ah. Yeah, if you don't check the gun, so yeah. That's the other option. Protect Alice. What other options do we have? Grab the gun, grab stick from fire, or put out fire. Ah. I see. Threaten. Oh, if you have a gun, you can threaten. I did not have the option. Okay. Makes sense. Attackers reveal themselves as Jerry back outside, and then that beautiful ending. What a heartwarming chapter. Yeah. I'm guessing this is the quiet before the storm. As I said, probably won't be this happy for a long time, so... <laughs> this little doll. That music, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, Hank. Alright, we are debriefing. What are you gonna tell Amanda? She's gonna kill me. There's Hank over there. The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. What happened to the man of the century? Hmm. He was the CEO of Cyberlife and then he disappeared? Interesting. Markets predict war. Stock exchange falls 10% on fear of Arctic conflict. 
Alright. What else do we have around here? <laughs> Wanna play? Look at that train! Okay, I don't think there's anything to interact with, so... Yeah, this is it. Uh, we are going to talk with Hank. Let's go. How are you doing? Nice view, huh? It's not bad. I used to come here a lot before. Before you lost your son? Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. I'm gonna try and ask about it. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? <laughs> the photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. He hates me. It was your son, right? That was too soon. Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. RA9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. Is that really it? seemed in love. Yeah. Deviants? They didn't want anything. No. Deviants. Uh, End of story. It's not what I meant. Ah, damn it. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Neutral? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Of course, the truth. No! I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Why? I could kill you. What's up with your hand? Just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly Let's find go for it yes. regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Hank's anger. 
Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? Oh no, that's not how you, you say think it. You're so fucking. That's smart. not how you say it. Always one step ahead, huh? It's gonna shoot me. <laughs> Tell me this, smart ass. Oh man. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Path unlocked. Where are you going? Get what does that mean? I need to think. I don't feel like I play this very well. Not too bad, but not too well as well. I mean, when you choose something, you don't really know exactly what he's going to say. If you knew it was easier. Because it says, for example, just deviants. I thought he's maybe gonna refer to deviants or how androids become deviants. But what he said, they're just deviants. Nothing else. It's like, he was like, you know, did not take it too seriously, which is not what I intended, for example. So... It's very tricky, very tricky. That being said, somehow Amanda is still neutral, but uh, sooner than later she's gonna hate me. Hank is a friend, which is good, and public opinion throughout the entire game so far, indifferent. I don't know what's up with that, um, if or when it's going to change, but yeah. Photo scene in Russian Roulette. Discuss photo and discuss RA9. Hank draws a gun, show fear. Hank left Connor alone. What's the other option? Can he attack us or something? Or actually shoot? There's an option to get shot here? Ooh, oh my god, that would be bad. That would be bad. Still on November 7th, 9.24am. Jericho admired. We are back with Marquez. Maybe he's RA9. What are we doing here? You clutch. Pick them up and make it snap. This is how to watch. What are we doing here? He's getting angry, I think. Josh, Simon, North. It's time humans heard what we had to say. Heck no yeah. Never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. I like it. It uh, won't be easy, but I like the general idea. Very interesting. Very interesting. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. There's a true leader now. Access 47th floor. Request access at uh, reception. So to the reception we'll go. Rebroadcast the world. And traffic. Forty seven to fifty. Channel sixteen studios, Detroit Local News Network. Business and legal. 10 to 30. Channel 16 advertising and sales. 79. 
Broadcast Center feeds all public screens in Detroit. So, wait a minute. The objective is to access 47th, not 79? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. 47. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. There's a human supervisor. What can we do about you? Smartwatch model T215. Got a phone number. Elizabeth Wilson, desk manager. Mm. Parking badge. Home address, Michigan Street, fire safety rating, poor. All right. Her daughter. Supervisor daughter, child registered as Central, at Central's school, Emily. Hmm. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. That's a very nice trick, Marcus. Very nice trick. Well, that went well. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. There you go. I need your help. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Androids helping androids. I like it. <laughs> well, can I pass? There you go. Wow. The design here is sick. It's very cool. Here we go. We are doing this. Fan package in men's bathroom. You are here. Where's the bathroom? Got it. Right in front of me. All right. Let's go. I wonder if there's anything else around here. Maybe I should check. I know it's uh, in the other direction. I'm just checking if there's anything to see around here. Okay, we can go. Looks like this game got ray tracing. Look at the reflections. Not bad. Okay, they're busy working. The bathroom should be uh, right here in front of us. There it is. There you go. It's 
getting interesting. Found it. What's our next uh, step? Ah, it was a uh, uniform. Sweet. Exit bathroom. Can do. What next? Find utility android. Where is that? How do I know where to go? Are you okay over here? <laughs> is he okay? <laughs> Just stand it there. Uh, where should I find that android? I see something. Oh, it's inside. Oh, silly me. I thought I saw it outside. Okay. My bad. I need your help. Easy as pie. <laughs> Still maintenance card. Now we're opening the fire escape. Which is where? I need to check the map again. Maybe it will tell me. Yellow mark. No. Let's uh, check again the layout. No. That was clumsy. <laughs> 360. Ah. Can't I focus on that? Where's the fire escape? Hmm. Oh. Think I got it. North. Follow north. Can do. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Hmm. Leave it to me. Track the guards away from door. Uh, guys? No, okay. not like that. Right here. You in? How should I do that? Hell yeah. Does Mike know about this? <laughs> Being hey, Android, it's useful. Christ, this piece of shit. You have many benefits. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the back. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Sweet. Okay, everything I need is at the back. There you go. Cool. 
And we're cutting. Ooh, that's bright. Here it comes. They did plan everything. The operation so far it is very impressive. Androids are uh, not sensitive to cold. I hope. And yeah, Earth is hot. Gotta admit. Use rope to ascend. Here you go. It's gonna be fun. Woohoo! Oh man, the music is so good! Ooh. Getting hyped here. So yeah, we do need to get to uh, level 79, was it? I think? But yeah, we needed to do that through level 47. And we're cutting. service lift hmm. wait a minute there's something else here maybe I should check nope there you are What's this? Let's do this. Destroy maintenance door lock. So that's a bomb. We should stay back. Just enough of a bank to open the door, but not to cause more damage. I like it. Main access. Getting interesting. Deal with guards. Ooh. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Uh, Rose. Wait here. <laughs> no, that's it. What's that but doing? yeah, we're not killing. No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged. At what are you doing? Just open the door. He got some moves. He got some moves.
There you go. Keep your hands where I can see them. Woohoo! Get up! Whoa. Move! Out of the android operators aside. I got a hero! Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! Ah! I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. North is uh, ruthless. Okay, uh, start speech. Wait a minute, there's something else around here. No. Okay, uh, start speech, I guess. So we're going live? Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Remove skin. Smart. Tell me when you're ready. I'm getting nervous, but I think I'm ready. Ready. Leader. Oh, wow. North is friend again. Okay. Mm, I think we should start calm. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Um... Oh, how do you choose? I want to say all those things. End of slavery? We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Equal rights, I guess? We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> it's difficult to choose. Civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. That's the most important. Property. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Peaceful, otherwise it won't work, because they are already resentful towards androids. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Yeah, that was a matter of time, I guess. Oh! Got some heavy guns. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Ah, uh, we gotta help him. I'm helping him. What do you think I'm doing? Jeez, North. Ah! I can't move my legs. Oh, man. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Uh, David Simon, what it means? If they find him, 
They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Will they find Jericho? I won't kill one of our own. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. Will they find Jericho because of me? Damn it! Oh, that is epic. So... Here's the thing, I think because I did not shoot that person that ran away... Oh, wait a minute, okay, I'll talk after that. ...images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few... Public opinion. ...studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? <sighs> So that's so interesting. I'm glad I went peaceful with the speech. I think, you know, during, for example, during war times, when you're under serious threat, it's important to be determined and all that, of course, to protect your people. But here's the thing. In this situation, people already hate androids and they're in power. They have all the power and they're looking for an excuse to destroy androids. They feel like androids are taking their jobs and all that. So... I think you gotta go peaceful. I know for a fact that that's what they're gonna say on the news, something of that sort. I did not think for a second that if I'm going peaceful, everything will be perfect and they will present those actions only as a good thing. I know that this is what they're going to say, but I know for a fact if you're not going peaceful in this speech, then it will be three or four times worse than that. So I think I'm happy with that. I am worried regarding if Simon will let everybody know where Jericho is and all that. So we had uh, an option to shoot a guy that ran away and I did not shoot him. And then apparently he used the alarm and that's why we got attacked. I'm pretty sure that's how it went down. And if I would shoot him, probably he would not hit the alarm. So I'm guessing same thing once I decided not to shoot Simon, there's a very high chance that... They will get his information and they will know where Jericho is and maybe I doomed us all. <laughs> That's what I fear. That's what I fear. I uh, yeah, you know me, I'm I won't shoot unless I really have to, like I won't pull the trigger usually. But I am worried about that. I am worried about that for sure. Uh let's go for the decision. That was a very interesting section for sure. 70% completed. So Jericho admired, I was a leader at one point and then it went back down to admired, I guess my speech was not perfect. North is uh, neutral, she was a friend and she was neutral. Uh, I figure every time I'm not killing someone, she's unhappy with me. I think she's kind of crazy, <laughs> but, but I get her point. Most of the time she's not, um, I think she's too ruthless, but she sees the goal in front of her and, and I can get it to some level. Josh is a friend and Simon is a companion. Okay. So, Starford, uh, Starford Tower. Pose as teacher. 58%. Okay, take card. I missed something over here. The speech. It's the most interesting thing. Where is it? Hack dispenser. Lock the door. Oh, if you're not locking the door, something bad can happen. Yikes. Cut the glass. Okay. And on the top floor. Ruse. 87%. Yeah. Makes sense. 
Okay, incapacitates the security guards and... Okay, this is the interesting part. So, North and Josh threaten the operator 99. Deal with Android operators 99%. Don't shoot operator. Only 45. That's uh, so interesting. I guess if I shoot him, then maybe he would not use the alarm and maybe Simon would leave. Yeah, probably Simon can survive this adventure. Yeah. Begin calming. 50-50. Uh, okay. End of slavery and equal rights. Oh, the majority chose that. Just the 77%. Right to own property, 48. And peacefully, 73. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mostly same decisions the majority took. SWAT team storms room, 67. Simon damaged. Try to save Simon, 59. Simon saved. On the roof. This is very interesting. Only 48 left Simon, so the rest of the players shot him. Still, it's almost 50-50, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, reach the roof edge. Oh, you can miss that somehow. Seems very difficult to miss that. Jump and media reacts. So here we got three endings. The group escaped, but Simon was left behind. You can fail to escape, huh? That was a very heavy chapter in terms of the impact on the story. I don't know what's going on from here, but I'm guessing from here, moving on, there are many different routes regarding the story, you know, depending on what you do here and depending the public opinion. And for the first time, the public opinion is not uh, indifferent, but it is sympathetic. So I, I'd say consider everything. That mission was a successful one. Public opinion sympathetic, I'm guessing it could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. November 8th. Or 6. That software instability thing is always showing up. And... I'm guessing because I'm taking more human choices and showing more emotion. That's why. Yeah, Amanda probably hates me at this point. <laughs> She probably hates me, and I'm guessing I'm gonna get fired or something. But yeah, I'm happy with my decisions. The fact that I'm protecting androids, I'm okay with that, so... Maybe you can sort of manipulate your words, you know, to make Amanda uh, be more forgiving. But, yeah, no. I don't know. I think she's gonna fire me or something right now. Hello, Connor. How are you doing, Amanda? I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. You hate me already? <laughs> oh, she's still neutral, so... Okay, let's have a ride. Just stopped. <laughs> Connor, are you okay? Oh, okay. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. It is calm. Tell me, what have you discovered? I won't give her details about Hank. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. Let's talk about Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to Yeah, she hates me. <laughs> I know. She's not taking me to my death or something, right? On that boat? You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I've unlocked Sincere. I thought I knew what I had to do. <sighs> now I realize it's not that simple. Okay, the fact that I unlocked it doesn't mean it's a good thing. You had hmm. your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Hmm. 
Why didn't you shoot? I want to tell you the truth, but maybe no use would be more convincing. We need the deviants because I know what she wants to hear. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. I kind of lied to her. I just did not want to hurt them. That's the truth. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Confident or indifferent? What will be more impressive? Confident? I know I will succeed. She liked All it. All I need is time. Even though I'm so conflicted, I, I'm trying to sell a good story to Something's her. Happy. But the truth is, I don't want to hurt the androids, and I don't want Connor to succeed. But I like Connor, and I want him to do well for himself, but not to time do well in his job on stopping androids. You get me, right? I'm so conflicted. <laughs> It's complicated. Complicated, that's all. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Dude, jeez, Hank. Okay, okay, sorry. Sorry, Lieutenant. Yeah. <laughs> He's pissed. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoned their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. They got some skills. Not yet. Investigate the attack, listen to briefing. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it they out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. Up anything? They got taken down before they could react. We did not kill them, though. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not Captured sure by CCTV. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three. Wait a minute, how do I check CCTV recording and listen to briefing? How do I check it? Broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. Check rooftop. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not not helping. FBI? Oh, Lieutenant. This is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? Yes, he wants. Everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Uh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Sorry. Look at my crime scene. Rude. What a fucking prick. Yeah. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right. Well, let's have a look around. I want to check the CCTV. How do I do that? Let me know if you find anything. There it is. Okay, Lieutenant. The events didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. I'd like to talk to them. Inspect the broadcast room, check rooftop. Okay, the rooftop and all that afterwards. Um, I want to talk to those androids. They're here, right? Connor? 
You remember me? I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? Oh, the tourniquet! Yes! I saved him! You saved me? Sorry. You must be mistaken. Don't you have what the memories of the, the previous Connor? Even if it wasn't you? I just wanted to say... Thank you. Man, the facial expressions. You can feel that emotion. Wow. Well done. They did an amazing job with the facial expressions. I really believed him there. Wow. Impressive. Hi, guys. Of course, a magazine. Why not? Bleeding Blue. How Cyberlife created a technology revolution. Space tourism. Is Mars your next holiday destination? Clean food craze. Detroit Urban Farms is changing the way we eat. Okay. Hi, guys. Let's talk. Look for a reaction. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Got him. Has That's him. Has anyone accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. This one to the left. I'm going to find out which it is. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. I know it, that You're it was going him. To be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed. <laughs> He's playing the game, but it's him. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. The Deviants have just been caught. Bluff. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We knew everything. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ouch! What do I do? Hank! Hank! Oh! I need help! Uh. 
the knife. Come on. Damn. Damn. He damaged me good. Ah, buttons. A lot of buttons. Come on. Come on. Yes. Here we go. Stop! It's a deviant! Stop it! Where's Hank? Save Hank! Oh my god! Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... Sorry. Connor, no. Ah, damn it. Simon is there. Simon is still there. I'm glad I did not find him. So, the fact that I did not find Simon means that we cannot know where Jericho is. The secret is safe. So, here's the thing. That's interesting. I had multiple options there. I chose to bluff, but I can also use violence or threaten or something else. Maybe there's a way to avoid getting killed there or getting attacked altogether. I don't know, but... Oh my god, look at this flowchart! So many options! Connor sacrificed himself for Hank, 32%. They went kill Cap from hostage situation. Wow. Okay, okay, let's uh, go over everything. This is so interesting. Ah, uh, jeez. Amanda asked me not to get destroyed. She's gonna hate me even more now. <laughs> so let's see. Anka, confiscated coin. Listen to briefing. Check CCTV. Oh! I did not get all the details. There are many other details I can get, but I chose to first of all question the androids. So yeah, I missed a lot of details. Oh, that might be crucial later on. Meet Perkins. Saved during the hostage. Meet Cup from hostage situation. Yeah, that was a nice moment. Check camera. Wow, I missed so many things. And then I chose to go to the kitchen. But I'm glad I did that because of one reason. Probably in this flowchart, I would have found Simon. And the fact that I did not find Simon means that the guys on Jericho are safer. But yeah, Connor again died. This is the second time I lose Connor. Wow, that's a lot. Enter the kitchen, read Bleeding Blue, find the Deviant 81% and 81% of deviant attacks. Remove knife. So during the attack, there's another option over here. Wow, there are so many options in this chapter. It's insane. Remove knife, chase, and protect Hank. At this point, the only thing I thought of is where is Hank? I did not want to lose Hank. Uh, I'm so emotional. So yeah, then I protected Hank and I got shot. Swat destroys the deviant. 
and the deviant kills cap from hostage situation connor sacrificed himself for hank oh my god this game keep on surprising me in so many ways the most surprising thing and the most impressive thing is looking at those flow charts and all the other options which is it's kind of insane it's kind of insane and impressive I cannot wait to continue. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.